I'd like to call the Janesville City Council special meeting of Thursday, December 22nd, 2011 to order. Uh, could we have the roll call, please? All council members are present except council member Ashkin. Could you please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, good morning, and we'll go on to item number three. Consideration and action upon one or more motions to convene into closed session pursuant to Wisconsin State Statute 19.85 uh, sub 1 sub e for the purpose of considering and establishing the negotiation and or bargaining parameters terms and conditions for a proposed TIF district number 35 development agreement with the shine technologies do we have a motion I'll make a motion we have a motion by council member Vosco second. second by council member Don Guerra Adams council please vote and that passes unanimously. So we are going to go to item number four, which is closed session, which we will do in the other room. So this time we're in closed session. We're back in uh, open session on item number six, consideration and action upon one or more motions to reconsider file resolution number 2011-865. Uh, Eric, before uh, we, we get too much further in this, can you just, uh, Recap what that resolution was, and then I'm going to ask for public comment. Sure. Um, you want me to recap what the resolution? What? Yes, if you would, just It'll so that, be it. that or Vic, one of the one yeah. of you two. But I can say that the resolution was for purchase. Let me find the resolution. I knew I'd throw up. A curveball at you sometime you today. Go. I think I finally got it. The resolution was for purchase of property at along Highway 51 for 84. It's for 84 acre parcel, and um, it's on Highway 51, close to the airport, for 1.512 million dollars for 84 acres. Is that what you're asking for? Yep, okay. that's what it was. Thank you, sir. Okay, uh, prior to uh, reconsidering that, uh, and for oh, and, and the first action would be reconsideration. I'm, I apologize. First action would be for reconsideration of your action because your action previously was condition, conditioned on having a development agreement approved by both parties. So you would have to reconsider that action at, to purchase it unconditionally. Okay. Council Member Rashkin. Thanks. Well, I will make the motion for reconsideration then. Second. We have a, a motion by Council Member Rashkin, second by Council Member um, Bosco. Bosco, thank you. All the names are screwed up here. They haven't changed them around yet. <laughs> Just throwing me for a while. Um New head. Is <laughs> Mr. Levitt, go ahead. For, for those council members who may not be familiar with parliamentary order so this first action is just to reconsider the vote that was taken previous Monday so if you pass this then you will discuss the land after you you if you pass this and if you don't pass this then you would have no further action okay so discussion at this point well, I'll just say that this was my my original motion on Monday that we amended uh, as a friendly amendment so I'm I guess reintroducing it because I think it makes sense. We need to have control of this land for future. And I know that uh, this affects other communities, but we need to uh, play the, basically the hands we're dealt. We're, we're supposed to watch out for city of Janesville first. And I believe that having control over that 84 acres is um, good for the city of Janesville. So. No Second. comment. No comment, any further comments? If not, uh, we have a motion by Council Member Rashkin, second by Council Member Voskel to reconsider uh, file resolution number 2011-865. Council, would you please vote? And that passes unanimously. Which would move us on to num number seven, consideration, deliberation, and action upon 
reopen council file resolution number 2011-865 authorizing the city administration to exercise a certain option to purchase approximately 85 acres of vacant land oh, from right. owner Arthur T. Donaldson for the industrial de redevelopment project located at 4021 U.S. Highway 51 South Rock Township. Uh, we're going to open the um, prior to getting into deliberation on that. Uh, did you have anything further from the administration on it? Any further no, information? Has anything else you want to add on that? Um, and if you have, there were questions about prices of land. Yeah. If you want Vic to address yeah, that. Yeah, uh, Vic, can you just give us a, a, a brief synopsis, please? Thank you, Council President. Oops, is this on? Steber? Yes. Okay. Uh, there's some questions last at the last meeting indicating is this an appropriate price, $18,000 per acre. So what we, we did some research and I'd like to provide you with the following examples. I'm not sure they're comparables, but it is consistent with what would happen here, i.e. taking agricultural land and developing it for another purpose. Um, to a reminder, we purchased the certified site, the city of Janesville, in 2004, 224 acres from Mr. Donaldson at $15,000 an acre. That was in 04. Um, in 05, the United Ethanol site was purchased, it's 50 acres, for again, $15,000 an acre. So that seems to be the, the, the going price back then. Um, in 07, there was a purchase of 19.41 acres for $16,000. In 05, in the town of Harmony, 13.67 acres were purchased in 05 for $18,600. It's currently on the market for $25,000 an acre. Um, currently, the DOT is actively engaged, as, as you may know, about the, uh, the bypass for Highway 26 in the Milton area. And uh, they purchased from Mr. Donaldson in May or June of this year, 2011. Um, and, and the range they would give us was 22 to $25,000 per acre. And the DOT purchased the parcel adjacent to these properties for $25,000 an acre. So it seems that 22, 25,000 seems to, seems to be what other plots of land taking it up from ag to a different purpose are going for in this current marketplace. Okay, thank you. Uh, although it's not a, a formal public hearing, we will allow public comment. We're gonna limit the, we'd ask that you limit your comments to three, meeting, uh, three minutes uh, per individual. So if there's anyone that's wishing to speak, if you could just please step up to uh, Mike, state your name and address for the record, and then you'll, you'll have three minutes, go ahead. And this is on item number seven uh, on the agenda, file, uh, reconsideration of the purchase of, of land only. Andrea Briar Moon, 339 South Locust Street. First, I want to greatly thank you for allowing public comment, even though it was somehow missing on the agenda. And I want to thank you for not just allowing this to be railroaded through and for taking the additional time to take a closer look at this and to um, consider uh, having a contract, a, a real contract, not just the possibility of a promise, you know, before you actually um, commit $1.5 million to purchasing land. I have several concerns, starting with the process. Um, that this wasn't a regular council meeting and that the regular council meeting was canceled and that um, this is a very unusual time for the public to uh, change their schedule and, and be able to be aware of what's going on and that you are kind of put on the spot at the last minute with this option which they could have been here a month earlier or three months earlier, five months earlier. So a uh, real concern about creating um, the illusion of emergency. And then I wanted to thank you for JATV at least filming this and, and having that available to the public. Um, I have a real concern about uh, the city employees interfering with private investors and the natural marketplace of real capitalism in a country 
that needs to keep government out of the marketplace. We need to keep this land on the market. We need to allow competitive investors. We need to allow people like Javon Bay, who makes $3 million a year, the opportunity to be a partner investor in new uh, jobs coming to our community. And I have a big concern with the fact that our current TIF process appears to be benefiting a handful of people greatly at the expense of the general public and of our tax base, of our taxes going to our schools and our county and our services. And then I have a concern about taking $1.5 million and just focusing on this parcel of land rather than saying, if we've got $1.5 million, how can we best utilize that for the general public when we don't even have a homeless shelter, when 7,000 jobs left Janesville, when a person, Mr. Gearhart, actually robbed a bank and turned himself in at the Gazette building in order to have housing at the jail, which costs us $25,000 per year to provide that housing for him. Uh, and it's, it's common knowledge that he's certainly not the old, only one. He's the tip of the iceberg. So um, how the county and the city are making housing for our homeless um, excessively expensive. Uh, the comparables that were just shared, unfortunately, are, I don't know how Mr. Donaldson finds out that a city or a county or the DOT is going to be acquiring land soon, but he's right there buying up that land from the commoner for a heck of a lot less than what you're planning on giving him right now. And, and I'm hoping that you will um, search out the prior owners of this land and that you will take a look at the land ownership history of these parcels and how recently they were purchased and what he paid for it and what the actual going rate was before he came into this kind of insider information. It's really, really disturbing that this man, a handful of people's names keep popping up and they just seem to always be at the right place at the right time to massively benefit from the city trying to be um, well-heeled um, marketplace investors, which is not the skill set of city employees or this council. It's not your duty. It's not what we elected you to do. Oh, uh, so, you're um, actually over your time, Kay Oh, Andrew, I'm sorry, so I didn't hear. Could you just wrap it up real quick, please? Yes. Thank so, you. Um, please choose not to spend 1.5 million dollars today. Please choose not to make the wealthy Mr. Donaldson even wealthier. Please choose not to take even more land off the tax base. And I don't even know that we've utilized the last chunk of land that Mr. Donaldson benefited from when we bought that and created the TIF District 35 in the first place. Okay, thank and you. again, thank you so much for allowing Mr. Levitt, me to share. Mr. Levitt, you had share. a comment? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that um, people understood and the count, I, th I think the council understands that if this land is purchased, it would be um, with the, the potential to be funded of the, the purchase would be funded through the TIF, which means you would have to create new value through new businesses or industry coming in, whether it be Shine Medical or other industry, that would then pay us back for that value so that general fund property taxes would not be used for this. Now, if that does not occur, then it would be used sure. by general fund, but that would have to be over a 20-year period that would not occur. Um, the second thing is just related to the speaker and, and Mr. Donaldson, my understanding, and I, I'm, I'm only going to say that I'm 98% sure of this, own this particular parcel back at the same time that we bought the previous parcel, which was more than five years ago. So I don't think this was a recent purchase. Okay. Is there any, uh, anyone else that's wishing to speak? Anyone else wishing to speak? Is there anyone else wishing to speak? Okay. I think we're done with our speaking portion of this. Um, so... Now we're on to, uh, do we have a motion? Council Member Rashkin. I'll repeat my uh, original motion to purchase the parcel of land for $1.5 million. Second. We have a motion and a second. Um, discussion? I think that's Council Member McDonald. I'm going by where you're sitting at, not what's on my light board here. Oh, no, I, you, it says Rashkin here. Jeez. I'm just saying it's <laughs> Just McDonald. keep pushing the button. <laughs> okay. I hit the Thank McDonald you. button okay. that time. <laughs> Uh, just a, I guess a couple of comments. First, is the is the motion to approve the resolution 2011-865? Is that 
Yes. Yes. They still were approving. Okay. Um, if if that is the case, I just have a a problem with that resolution because it refers to the 84 acres as vacant land, and I I've said it before and I'll say it again. We as as urban dwellers need to stop referring to agricultural land and farmland as vacant land because it's not vacant. It's agricultural. It's agribusiness. It's farmland. So. I would like to see that somehow reflected in this resolution. Thank you. Is that a friendly amendment that you would like added to take out the word vacant property to add uh, agricultural property? Is that yes. what you're saying? Well, I'd have to refer to the, the maker of the motion in the second to see if that's acceptable. Gary, I'll defer to you since you're the initial. Thank you. And I will defer to Mr. Levitt to see if there's any complications that this might possibly create. I'm not sure. I'm not aware of any complications. Okay. And in that case, uh, friendly amendment, gladly accept it. Any further discussion? I guess I, I, I view it as the if, if, if it's legally described and Mr. Donaldson is the property owner, it's considered vacant real property. Um, I don't think it's our point to designate what Mr. Donaldson's property is. I believe it's his property, and as it's legally uh, described, I believe in documents, and correct me if I'm wrong, Wald, it's vacant real property. Is that correct? It's vacant real property with farmland use. Okay. So if we had vacant real property with farmland use, I would be comfortable with that. But I just don't want to, I mean, I don't want to set precedents that we're going to all of a sudden change vacant real property right. to. Are you okay with that? You're Absolutely. Are you okay with the, the, the friendly mem amendment in that format? Well, I wasn't a maker of the motion. So no, I'm asking oh. you uh, how they revised it. Fine. Okay. Any other further discussion about the resolution? Not. Uh, we have a motion and a second with a friendly amendment. Uh, seeing that there, there's no additional discussion, council, please vote. And that passes with council members Dongara Adams, Rashkin, Steber, Vasco, and Liebert in favor, and council member McDonald opposed. On to item number eight, matters not on the agenda. Does any council member have any other matters? Seeing none, on to number nine. Oh, Tom. Tom, I'm sorry. Yes, I just want you all to have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday season. Okay. Very good. Yeah. On to item number nine, motion to adjourn. I'll make a second. Okay. Uh, it was a motion by uh, Council Member Vosco, second by Council Member McDonald. Council, please vote. And we are adjourned. Thank you.